everyone, we welcome you to the Stroh Center on the campus of the Bowling Green State University alongside my partner, Miles Holliday. I'm Randy Roberts. We're set for Division Three Regional Boys Basketball tonight. The first semifinal should be a pretty good one as the Wayne Trace Raiders take on the Crusaders of Canton Central Catholic. Now, Randy, where else would you rather be than right here, right now? High stakes basketball, right. two unbelievable programs ready to go. Yeah, two teams, two wins away from making a trip to state. Miles, let's take a look at some keys to the game tonight for both these teams. Let's start with the Crusaders of Canton Central Catholic. Uh, number one for Canton uh, Central Catholic. Get to the free throw line. They average 18 free throws a game. Randy, two things. They get free points. Also, they get Wayne Trace in foul trouble. So get to the line. Number two, senior poise. Four of their starters tonight are going to be seniors. Eight seniors on the team. They are battle tested, battle hardened. And then number three, don't grouse. Get it to Rouse. Talking about Dylan Rouse, 6'6". Six, six. He is a fantastic player. Get it to him in the post early and often. See if you can really dominate the inside key against Wayne Trace. And what are some keys to the game tonight for the Raiders of Wayne Trace? Yeah, the Raiders got to swing their sword, don't they? Randy, they are great starting games. They've outscored their opponents 337 to 235. And Central Catholic has a problem with starting slow. So swing your sword early. Number two, turnover city, baby. Turnover is so important. How many times have you seen Brooks lock off with a deflection, turn out to easy points? Mm -hmm. They're going to have to play great defense to offense. And then sensational Stoller. Kyle Stoller, what a player he is. 15 points a game, nine rebounds, and last week went over 1,000 points on, on his career, but more importantly, had the big three against Emmanuel to get the victory. Look at Kyle Stoller, he is absolutely sensational. Those are your keys for Wayne Trace. Well, looking forward to what should be a good one. It's Wayne Trace, Canton Central Catholic, next here on WOSN. Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday, back with you here from the Stroh Center at the campus of BGSU, getting set for our first of two Division Three regional semifinals here tonight. The winner of this one is going to return here on Saturday. Get the winner of the second semifinal between Ottawa Glandorf and Cardinal Stritch for the right to head to Dayton. Let's take a look at the starting lineups here. Let's start with Canton CC and Miles. What sticks out to you here for the Crusaders? Well, uh, definitely Dylan Rouse, number 12. That is the go-to guy. Look for them to get him going early. 12 points a game. This is a team, Randy, though, that spreads the ball out. Three guys score over 11 points a game, but Luke Velosky inside, he's a good one. DeMonte DeGraff and Reed, he is a tremendous athlete. Ethan Reagan, number five, is a really good perimeter player. And Jack Talkington led them in rebounds uh, last Friday in their big district win. Yeah, it was second uh, in scoring of 14 points per year, uh, 14 points in that win over Creston Norway. Let's take a look now at the starting lineup for the Wayne Trace Raiders. Needed a three from Kyle Stoller to get here to the regional. Yeah, keep your eye also on Brooks Lockoff, a tremendously gifted offensive player. 46% from behind the arc. A tremendous defensive player, loves to get deflections. Hudson Myers and Tanner Lockoff, two young guys that do well on the backcourt. And then Tyler Davis, the biggest guy on the team. Tyler Davis is 6'4", does a lot of the dirty work for Wayne Trace. Wayne Trace comes in at 20 and six. Canton Central Catholic at 16 and nine. Wayne Trace looking for the first trip to the uh, state tournament since 2015, which is also the last time they won a district title. Just underway here from the Stroh Center and our scoreboard tonight is presented by Carey Insurance and Grover Hill. Call or stop by to see if we can assist you with your insurance needs. Now a little 3-2, 1-2-2 two, two, two kind of look. This is a uh, central Catholic team that loves to run zone defenses and it pays off in a big way on the first possession. Quick turnover, the jumper in the lane's gonna be up and good. A good look out of Jack Talkington who gives Canton CC the early 2-0 lead. Yeah, how about the little high glass smooch by Talkington? Started with the uh, steal on the other end. That was DeMonte de Graffenried who came away with that one. So quick turnover and bucket and the early score. Don't want the uh, different set of lines to confuse you. Or it's the uh, orange is the uh, college three-point line. We got the white one here for the high school. Now we got a foul coming inside off the entry pass. Yeah, going to have to be crisp on the entry passes. That one floated a little bit. Uh, very fortunate for Wayne Trace that Talkington picked up his first foul. A little bit tardy playing the passing lane. Good uh, entry pass off the inbound. The runner in the lane just rims out, and the rebound is off the end line. It looks like it's going to stay Raider basketball. There's Kyle Stoller right there, number 40. He is one of those guys. He's like a rebound magnet. Got his hands on that one. Almost came up with it. 
after the missed shot by Laka. Hudson Myers left to shoot the inbound up near the timeline where Brooks Lockoff will get it. Lockoff fires a pass right down to the low block where Kyle Stuller deposits it and we're tied. Yeah, how about the look by Lockoff to find his buddy inside. Lockoff averages a three and a half assists per game, gets one right there. Luke Velasky brings the ball into the front court as they swing and run to the left wing. Trying to get that entry pass. Back to Talkington, going one on one with Tyler Davis. Off the miss, here come the Raiders, those crisp white uniforms with the red and blue. Davis left-handed, that one's gonna be blocked from behind, and the Crusaders come away with a basketball. Oh, you're, you're kinda nice by saying just block, that was swatted. Big time denial. Talkington at the wing, left open, a little hesitation, and it's gonna lead to a travel call. Yeah, Talkington kinda, the little girl curls when he's good, he's really good, when he's bad, he's awful. Two back-to-back -back turnovers, but had the glasser to get him started. And Central Catholic going back to that zone defense that's kind of given Wayne Trace a little bit of fits early in this game. Extending that 3-2, not only almost morphed it into a 2-1-2, two, two, as it looks like Dylan Rouse could have given a little freedom to roam around. Pass into the corner is for Tanner Lockoff. We'll get it out to his brother Brooks. I like, the, I like the zone defense, Randy, because where's it putting Brooks Lockoff? He's 23 feet away from the basket. Not that he can't do damage from there. So can Stoller. That one might have been partially deflected, but coming in, coming away with the offensive rebound is Tyler Davis and a reset of the offense for the Raiders. Now that's what Tyler Davis does for this Wayne Trace team. He gets the garbage work done. Here's the long three. That was from the college line, no good. Fight for the rebound. It's out of bounds, and it looks like the basketball will stay with Wayne Trace. Now, Coach Creamer's got to be happy about the shot selection that they are forcing. Here's another this, weird this shot. Gonna be the block. Oh, there's a huge block by DeGraffenreed. Hello. And again, our replays tonight are brought to you by Lodix Jeweler, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. Now, starting to say, though, partner, hey, Coach Creamer excited about the shot selection that they're forcing Wayne Trace into. Not great shots, however, they're not getting the rebounds that they need to. Too many second chances for Wayne Trace. Pull up jumper from the free throw line, nothing but net out of Kyle Stoller who has all four of Wayne Trace's points. So it felt like the Raiders just had the uh, basketball there for an, an eternity. Yeah, Stoller with a high of 26 this year, I'm sorry, 29 against Delta, a very capable score. Luke Velosky able to drive all the way to the basket, left-handed shot was up no good, but he's able to draw the foul. And he'll head to the free throw line as we take a look at that Lottix Jewelry replay. Yeah, sometimes you forget about lefties. It's in your scouting report, right? He's left-handed, don't let him drive left. But the young lockoff Tanner forgets about it too easy. And not only that, but I'm sure he was told running under the floor in the introductions and in the huddle before the opening tip, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Coaches tend to repeat themselves early and often. But fortunately for Wayne Trace, misses the first one. Velosky will uh, split the free throws. Gives the Raiders a one point lead on our carry insurance scoreboard. Already nearing the halfway mark of quarter number one. Time of possession game would be about two to one in favor of Wayne Trace. As we'll get a bump and a foul on the dribble drive. Everyone's gonna slip a little bit, a freshly waxed floor here in the Stroh Center. Well, what you don't wanna do is foul a guy though when he's dribble driving at 22 feet away, right? Especially a guy that is not a tremendous offensive threat. Hudson Myers, good ball player, but you know he's not a guy that lights it up for double digits every time, only three points a game. Let him continue with that dribble, let your buddies come help. Inbound comes in to lock off. Because again, they'll go up against that 3-2 zone. They got a dead spot at the free throw line when the ball's high, you gotta hit Stola right there. Trying to work around Hudson Myers. He'll give it into the corner. Brooks Lockoff calls it back. A little hesitation move. He'll have the ball poked away. It's going to roll back free, but the Raiders recover. There's Lockoff again, a well off the three point line. Tracking down the offensive rebound will be Tanner Lockoff. Yeah, another weak side rebound. Coach Creamer's just got to be beside himself. Central Catholic giving up all kinds of weak side rebounds early. Take a look at the scoreboard hanging above us. We see the rebounds already 5 1 in favor of the Raiders. Drive along the baseline, Lockoff will go inside. Stoller facing the triple team, gets it out, and they'll find their security blanket in Brooks Lockoff. 
a really good patience exhibited early by Jim Linder's team. The Raiders being very patient on the offensive end. Work this around, now just a three-man weave. They may try to force Canton Central Catholic to come out of this zone. Well, I think if anything, the higher you play offensively, the more it extends that zone, gives you spaces to pass the ball into, inside the key. Trying to find some space right now. Ball nearly mishandled by Tanner Lockoff. Now it's thrown away. It's coming up the steal. Will be Rouse. Dylan Rouse spins, gets in the lane, gets the kick out, and that's going to end up in the Wayne Trace bench. The team's a trade turnover. Yeah, frustrating right there for Canton Central because you play defense for all that extended time. You finally get a steal, and what do you do? You're careless with the basketball and turn it right back over to Wayne Trace. Kale Wimmins enters the contest now for the Raiders. He's taking over at the point will be Tanner Lockoff. His brother Brooks moves over to the wing. He's a bright future at the next level at 6'3", can do a lot of different things with the basketball. Yeah, this is a Wayne Trace team that returns a ton of good pieces next year. That whole GMC is going to be an absolutely fantastic league. There's one sent back, not quite as violently out of Lockoff. The offensive rebound here, Stoller can't get that one to go. Rebound is tipped around, finally controlled by Velaski. Velaski able to bring that into the front court. He'll give it up to, to, to Graffenreed. The Graffenreed trying to create. He'll pull up three from the wing off the front of the iron. Long rebound is an offensive rebound for Ethan Raygun, and the offense resets for uh, Canton Central Catholic. A man to man by Wayne Trace. They do a great job of playing help side of principles. You see a help right there by Stoller after the dribble drive by Reagan. Velasquez comes out, doesn't like what he sees, so he's going to come back near the timeline. So Seeing our carry insurance scoreboard, very quick moving opening period, already down to two minutes to go. Graffenried off to the wing. Need some help to find Velasky. Velasky. How about a step back jumper from 15 feet? Doesn't go. As Kyle Stoller was going to wait for the bounce, it never came as the ball's just taken away from him. Pull up jumper off the wing again is no good. And this time it's Brooks Lockoff comes up with a miss. Yeah, credit Reagan though for getting another offensive rebound when Stoller just stared at it. Got another opportunity for Central Catholic. Stoller nearly tied up. Ball is jarred loose. Heads out of bounds. It looks like it's going to stay with the Raiders. Yeah, see a little bit of frustration in Kyle Stoller's face. He's used to dominating inside. You know, I think tonight, buddy, he's just going to get one dribble and he's going to have to do something because hands are a plenty by that Crusader defense inside. Yeah, they have given Wayne Trace fits whenever they've tried to go inside. Try right there. Stoller looking for point number six. We'll get it. Coach Creamer turns and looks at his bench and his coach is like, how do we forget about that kid on the inbound? Keep a guy on, on Kyle Stoller at all times when the ball's underneath your own basket. Rouse will get rid of the basketball as it comes around. They're going to go back inside and breaking free will be Dylan Rouse. And he's able to get the second basket of the night for the Crusaders. Yeah, Rouse, great job of getting Stoller on his backside hip. Good drop set power dribble to finish. Cuts that wing trace lead back to a point at 6-5 on a carry insurance scoreboard. Raiders may try to just run out this final 45 seconds of the quarter. Walk off, and they might not as he's going to glide his way to the basket, lay it up and in. Well, he got to close the front door. If not, he'll kick it in. But the little finger roll for Brooks Laka. It's his first points of the night. And now it's Canton Central Catholic that appears to be in no hurry. Yeah, spreading it out, got shooters in the corner, got Rouse in the middle, and you got DeMonte DeGraffenried with the ability to dribble drive anytime you want. That looks exactly like what they're going to try to do. DeGraffenried, how about the little Euro step up and around to get the basket? And now we'll get a steal, tried to get one, but we'll get a foul here. Three seconds to go in the quarter. That was like the electric slide, wasn't it? Watch this right here. I'm gonna, you're going to stop me? No, you're not. Give him the left and to the right. And the Graffin Reed fills it up in a big way. Boy, how do you not let that young man attack the basket anytime he wants? And you see, just trying to get the reach, looking for the clean steal, but called for it. His body language didn't agree. There's another ball knocked free at the scorer's table. We're down to 1.4 to go 
in our opening quarter. A great job by Central Catholic to deny Lockoff. Two guys on him. Somebody in a white jersey needs to come back and help. Very fortunate they kept possession. See what Wayne Trace can do. Stoller long three at the horn. Not going to go. And that's the way our opening quarter will end. So Wayne Trace will take a one-point lead into our second quarter. It's 8-7 here on WOSF. And our scoreboard tonight is presented by Carey Insurance and Grover Hill. Callers, stop by to see if we can assist you with your insurance needs. 8-7 here at the Stroh Center. There is some information on Canton Central Catholic. Head coach Matt Creamer, 16-9, playing an independent schedule from the Stark County area. Finished a Division III, ranked 62 in what's turning into that all-important Martin RPI. And, of course, the Raiders of Wayne Trace under veteran head coach Jim Linder still has uh, a few wins to go if he wants to catch Al Welsh <laughs> become the all-time winningest coach of the Raiders. 20-6 and six out of the GMC. Didn't win the GMC, but did beat the champions the last GMC contest of the year. And a ranking of 29 in the RPI. At, uh, Bill Frack, Court Bill Frack, the uh, coach... BGSU Falcons way before Miles' this time, which makes him old. <laughs> a little high post, uh, tried to go high low, but as well defended uh, by Wayne Trace. And he talked about the uh, ranking of uh, this Central Catholic team, and Coach Creamer said it's they're never going to have a great record because they have to play so many Division I schools being an independent, but he thinks he, it battle hardens them for the uh, tournament. It prepared them this year. They had a nice win over Creston Norwayne, 59-53 in the district final. A game they were trailing by a point heading into the fourth quarter for pulling out the win. Of course, we talked about in our pregame, Wayne Trace had that uh, bucket, and we'll get a bucket there out of Kyle Stoller, the three-pointer with two point seconds left to propel themselves past Emmanuel Christian to get here to the regional. Yeah, just Stoller, one of those guys that always finds himself open. Moves without the ball extremely well. Good find. Gets Stoller going. He's got eight of the ten. Right now, Hudson Myers didn't realize that the ball was poked free. He has one job, and that is to be in the face of DeMonte DeGraffenried all night. Wasn't looking for the loose ball. Great job by Meyer just shadowing. You see, he doesn't even turn his head to locate the ball. He is denied. And basket there out of uh, Canton Central Catholic is Finley Stewart, the top subs for this team, able to score. So that is the fifth different player now for Canton Central Catholic to score tonight. Well, that's a big side for the Crusaders because Finley only 16% from behind the arc on the year, 100% that time. Better give him the right points to give him three there. Ties this one at 10 on our carry insurance scoreboard. Brooks Lockoff trying to get a little too cute with the basketball, nearly lost it. Gets it into the corner for Hudson Myers. Now the kick out. Lockoff wants to take the long range three and he'll fill it up. Release, rotation, and splash for Lockoff, the man that buries it at 46% behind the arc. Back to a three point lead for the Raiders. Lockoff now with five. Lockoff is five, Stoller is eight. If I can do quick math, I believe that is all 13 for the Raiders. Well, I remember in their win against Emmanuel Christian, it was only Lockoff, Stoller, and Davis that scored all their points. They are turning to their best players here in crunch time, that is for sure. And now blocking call is gonna be the foul on the dribble drive by Dylan Rouse. Uh, two of the best players going at each other right there. Rouse going one on one. Well, here's the three at the top of the key by Brooks Lockoff. Boy, what an elite shooter he is. And here's gonna be the little dribble drive by Rouse. I think that's one of those. You're not completely set. It's a good call by the official. And again, our uh, replays tonight are provided by Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wouter online at Lodix.com. Both teams offensively very deliberate when it gets to a half-court set. Ethan Reagan looked inside, looked at the kick around. DeGraffin Reed with it, and it looks like he's going to reset the offense. He doesn't like what he sees. Has the ability to go one on one. Instead, he'll go for the pull up jumper from the elbow. That one's going to take a high bounce and then a medium sized bounce off what appears to be very soft rims here at the Stroh Center. Yeah, kind of looked at like you at Papa shot at Dave and Busters, didn't it? Waiting for that thing to take the third bounce. I want those tickets, man. <laughs> Entry pass worked its way into Davis. He'll get the kick out. And now Brooks Lockoff with a basketball. 
draws a double team and will just very coolly and calmly back out of it. If I'm Wayne Trace, I keep it on the right-hand side of the floor. Another steal inside. That's already the second time Stoller's had it stolen from him on a dribble drive. Pass goes into the corner for Velasquez. Velasquez trying to create. It's the entry pass inside. Rouse with it. Rouse is going to have it knocked away. That's Tyler Davis with a steal. Davis trying to work his way around traffic instead. Gets the walk off, eyes the three, can't get it. Rebound still loose on the floor. Still loose on the floor. Finally, it's out of bounds. And the Crusaders will take over with the basket. Now, how about that effort, though? Both teams scrambling to get the loose ball. Hudson Meyer trying to get on the floor to steal it. Gets the foul instead. And they know what's at stake. Chance to come back here play for the right to go to the state tournament in Dayton. Almost at Columbus again. Mm -hmm. Still will take some time to get used to. Uh, but you, you feel it at this point, right, knowing that you're two wins away? How could you not, right? I don't know how you, you sleep at night this close to getting to the Final Four. Three-pointer, one pass off the mark. Good one-handed rebound there by Rouse. He's going to come out. He'll find Velasquez sets a screen for him. Velasquez trying to go baseline is going to be knocked out of bounds. Good defensive stand there by Kale Winans will force the turnover. Now Winans did a great job of keeping his nose on the ball on the dribble drive. But the Crusaders, they want a little bit of a push action right there. Winans gets away a little bumper cars. Officials letting him play. Good effort there out of the Raiders will force the turnover. That is the third of the night so far on the Crusaders here, 13-10 on our carry insurance scoreboard, down under three and a half minutes in what's been a very briskly played first half of basketball. Contact inside, the Winans gets the entry pass. Stoller with a kick out, here's Lockoff. He'll take that college range three, that one's off the mark, and the rebound's out of bounds, and Central Catholic will have it. Now the defense kind of harassed that pass. Stoller had Lockoff open, but had too many hands to go through. Couldn't throw it to uh, Lockoff in rhythm, forced a bad shot. It feels like we've been stuck at 13-10 for a while now. That's where we're at as we get to the three-minute mark on our carry insurance scoreboard at quarter number two. Nice job by Talkington, kept that pivot foot down. Talkington, by the way, Division VI first-team All-Ohio football player, was the quarterback of the Crusader Club. Three-point try is good again. Second of the night, Finley Stewart. Now have yourself a day, Finley Stewart. Delivering big time long range. Ties us 13 all, two and a half to go before halftime. Lock off with that bounce pass to the wing left side, gets it back. See Camp Central Catholic starting to extend that zone defense. Now their defense gets better as the game goes on. You remember, their win against Norway. Norway had a huge lead after the first quarter, only scored 32 points the rest of the game. Davis, short corner pass is kicked. And will force an inbound. That will allow Luke Velasquez to check back into the lineup, as it looks like for Wayne Trace Tanner Lockoff comes back in. I wonder if some point in time if Jim Linder is gonna let Brooks Lockoff run baseline on the offensive end, try to get him free that time in the corner because him playing up top, so much attention is given to him. Winans having some trouble finding someone open as Velasquez is going to force the turnover. He'll rip this away, trying to go to the basket. It's a three on one. Wraparound pass is a good one, and the foul as to Graffin Reed able to score for the Crusaders. Now, defense into offense for the Crusaders. To Graffin Reed, the ability to finish through contact in the left hand. One on three right here. Lockup tries to stop the ball. A little bounce pass. Graffin read in. He goes through the huge contact by Winans. Now Winans is going to pick up the foul. And now a chance to convert the three point plays for the first time tonight. Crusaders lead this one. And they'll extend it on the free throw. Boy, DeMonte to Graffin read. He has been absolutely sensational when he's uh, decided to dribble drive. It's time out on the floor. We'll step aside as well. Canton Central Catholic with a three-point lead. 
And again, our instant replays tonight are provided by Lonix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Warden or online at lonix.com. As we take a look at this Region 10 tournament, there is the district championship games uh, heading into our two regional semifinals tonight here in Bowling Green. You think if Wayne Trace wins, they're, they're going to be rooting for Cardinal Stritch? The last three years, Wayne Trace, yeah, Wayne Trace, Ottawa, Glendorf seem to find each other in the tournament no matter where they're at. Last year, two of them were placed in the same district, met in the district final at uh, Lima Senior High School. Yeah, oh, geez. Put a damper on the basketball dreams of Wayne Trace the last three years in a row. Yeah, Wayne Trace kind of snacking on danger here, partner, with 124 left. You get the feeling momentum all the way of the Crusaders. 32nd timeout taken by Wayne Trace Lockoff, trying to find a little bit of room. There's just nothing going on right now. Well, if you're not moving offensively, they're not going to move defensively, right? And just too many guys staring at the basketball without movement for Wayne Trace. Is the kick out? Is Tanner Lockoff? He's going to take the three. That's no good, but the offensive rebound is up and good for Kyle Stoller, who already has 10 points. Hey, look at me like he's unassuming at six foot three. But he just comes up with board after board for Wayne Trace. The sensational one, Kyle Stoller, yet again. We'll see what Canton Central Catholic does with a one point lead and 40 seconds to go. I think if you're Central Catholic, you, you, you hold it for the last shot here. Worst comes the worst, you go in with one point lead at half. And I believe Kale Winans is going to pick up his second foul and a hold inside away from the basketball. And Wine is one of those guys you should never complain about a, a foul call because he commits fouls. He's a physical guy, right? He hammered to Graffin Reed on the, the three-point attempt. And then that one right there, he's just a physical dude. He's a great linebacker in the fall, so that contact comes with him in the winter. Will force Canton Central Catholic to inbound. See one of those guys, Coach tells, hey, you got five fouls, let's use them all up tonight. <laughs> he's going to, right? He walks in the gym with one foul already. He did follow his own teammate on the bus. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're going to spread it out, try to take the last shot of the quarter here. If I'm Central Catholic, I want Rouse, or I'm going to let DeGraffenry dribble drive. All right, now DeGraffenry appears to be the move. Now he'll get rid of it over to the wing for Velasquez. Velasquez held to just one point here in our opening half. Now has a double team. Rouse, long three, can't get it to go, and that's how. The opening half will end. Been an entertaining one here from the Stroh Center, 16-15. And we'll have more when we return WOSN. 16-15, our score, Canton Central Catholic with a one-point lead over Wayne Trace as uh, we just about ready to begin the second half here from the Stroh Center on the campus of Bowling Green State University. That's Miles Holiday. I'm Randy Roberts. Great to be with you here on the campus of BGSU. Regional week at uh, Division Four regionals here last night, D3, then D2, which should be a couple of our really interesting games. Second one here tonight is gonna be an exciting one too with Ottawa Glandorf and a true blank Cardinal Stritch, thank you. The two number one seeds. Yeah, yeah moving forward. And uh, this one's been everything we thought it'd be, very competitive basketball game. And if you're Wayne Trace, you gotta feel good with the fact that you're only down one, but you're only shooting one of seven from behind the arc. And it can't continue, right? You think they're going to get a little bit hotter than one of seven. And we see the uh, halftime numbers. Wayne Trace at 41% shooting. Canton Central Catholic at 43. Rebounds 11-7 in favor of Wayne Trace as the ball goes out of bounds. It looks like another turnover will begin the second half. Yeah, he tried to run Brooks Lockoff on the baseline that time against his zone. Good idea. He's dead in front of the zone all first half, but pass a little bit too wide for him. Couldn't hold on to it. A couple of numbers that uh, stick out. Turnovers 5-4, and the points off the turnovers, as uh, Canton Central Catholic has been able to, to convert the five turnovers into five points, while Wayne Trace has converted the four Canton Central Catholic turnovers into just two points. So here's Luke Velasky. Trying to get top of the key, the drive gets the kick into the corner. Three ball off the mark, no good by Ethan Raygun. And the rebound comes out to the Raiders. Trying to push, they want the ball into the hands of one of their playmakers, Brooks Lockoff. Miles had mentioned it early on in this one as Stoller tries to get inside, can't get it to go. Just three players scored in that district uh, championship game 
over Manuel Christian. Kind of expect same type of thing to happen for the Raiders here tonight. Yeah, lock off of 25. Stoller was 16 and Davis with nine. That was it for Wayne Trace, but it was enough. Yeah, they're gonna have to need they're gonna need contributions from somebody else at some point in time in this game here tonight. To Graffin Reed into the corner, gets that entry pass down to Jack Talkington. Talkington with a reverse layup, can't get it to go as it hits off the heel of the iron. And here's Brooks Lockoff very quickly brings the ball into the front court. A great secondary defense on Lockoff. Central Catholic got back, stayed in front of him. Lockoff was looking to dribble drive, but it was denied right away. And by the way, I want to give props to the Canton Central Catholic crowd. Had a uh, significantly longer drive here to Bowling Green than Wayne Trace. You see all the green clad behind us at the uh, shot at halftime. They have uh, filled their side of the place up. They chartered two buses for the student section, and they are here early, getting loud, giving Wayne Trace all kinds of grief when they are warming up. And Stoller's going to lay flat on his back on a shot attempt. The ball goes out of bounds. The only call is going to be that it will stay with the Raiders. Yeah, Jim Linder, you saw him with the hands up, palms up. That usually means I can't believe you didn't call something. Stoller. One will plinko its way off the backside of the backboard. Our favorite game ever on Price is Right. Plinko. Stiller almost won something big, but not a basket. What, what is the time? Is $25,000? Is that the top prize? Is that what it was? I think so. That's great. But you had to hit, what, 5,000 three times with the discs? I love it. So. We'll get back to basketball. That's uh, enough of the game show portion of the show tonight. A little confusion inside, and Lockoff comes up with a steal. Can't such Kendrick will get it right back as DeGraffin Reed was able to knock it away, and now we'll get a push and a foul coming here on the Raiders. Well, Wade Trace has got to be befuddled because they think Lockoff had been hammered and thus resulted in a steal for Central Catholic. But then on the other end, just a little, we're going to get a look right here. Yeah, you see behind, he got hammered from behind by Rouse. And then the little push by Davis gets whistled. Three off the inbound is no good. Raiders come away with basketball replays tonight. Brought to you by Lodix Jeweler, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Order online at Lodix.com. Lockoff, his runner in the lane, gets the friendly bounce, and it rolls in. Well, you see more active by Lockoff in this half, attacking with the basketball, not just looking to shoot the three ball. I think that's what he's going to have to do, get his points here tonight. Lockoff has seven, puts the Raiders back up by one on our carry insurance scoreboard. Rouse thought about taking the top of the three, uh, top of the key three. Instead, it's a handoff for Velasquez who will take it. Ball's out of bounds, and it looks like Wayne Trace will have it. And that last shot selection, I think, has made Matt Creamer a little upset. Yeah, just never got his feet underneath him. <laughs> and you're going to get a timeout, a 30-second one. And Coach Creamer just locking eyes. We'll take a timeout as well here, nearing the halfway point in quarter number three. Hey, our scoreboard tonight is presented by Carey Insurance in Grover Hill. Call or stop by to see if we can assist you with your insurance needs. It's also time to spring for life with WOSN and TV 44. Our annual spring of funding campaign is underway now. Please partner with us by giving a financial donation in any amount. Our campaign goal is $50,000 by Mother's Day. Donate, donate online at WTLW.com slash donate. A little extended three-quarter court here with this zone look by Central Catholic trying to trap in the corner. Nearly did so. Brooks Lockoff able to get the ball from his brother Tanner. Kale Winans stepping out set up. Winans wins going away the best hair award tonight. A little Patrick Mahomes look for Winans. Looking good. Lockoff that no look pass for Stoller at the free throw line. Thought about the step through instead. It's the kick into the corner where the three ball is good by Tanner Lockoff. Oh, the Lockoff family, they like two, they like two, but they really love Lee. three. The younger delivers again. Wayne Trace, a little bit of breathing room, up four now. It's DeGraffin to lose the handle, gets it back, is able to put it up and in. Oh, when he's been able to dribble drive, he is filling it up in a big way for Central Catholic. He's got seven now. Back and forth we go, two-point game. Entry pass is a long one into the corner. Winans, he'll get the open three. Can't get that one to go. Rebound, still fought for. It's tipped around, and finally Jack Talkington will hold on to it and get the outlet pass. They quickly bring the ball up the floor to Graffenried. 
All the way to the basket, runner can't go. And this is the pace we thought we would see tonight out of these two. Our coach Kramer thought that De Graffenried had been contacted on the shot attempt. Brooks Logkoff, corner three is no good. Dylan Rouse jumped right through and come away with a rebound. And now the Crusaders walk the ball into the front court. <laughs> Coach Creamer did the hand up. This is getting too fast for me. Slow things down. Might, might have even been a little wave of the hand with the, the uh, face and head. Gave the, the stop sign. Three ball. Got the net, but the bottom side of it, Winans. Now with the basketball, the outlet pass was to Tanner Lockoff. Wasn't looking for it. Get it into the corner. Lockoff, it's Tanner with it. Slashes through the lane, draws the double. Realized no one was on him. Turn back around, pivot no good. And now here's Canton Central Catholic trying to go a little helter skelter. And now we'll have the ball knocked out of bounds. They call a foul. I think just a loose ball out of bounds. Didn't see anyone actually go to the table. Yeah, I think it was foul. Tanner Lockoff that knocked it out. He's going to get a little bit of a break, but gave some seriously good minutes along with Winans. Thought they picked up the intensity level for Wayne Trace. Yeah, also got a bit of a talking to out of his head coach with the stoppage near the benches. As uh, Brady Miller, number 10 for Wayne Trace, enters for the first time tonight. Miles tells me it's the second time. Turn around in the lane is going to be no good out of Rouse. And here is Brooks Lockoff. Well, you better be tight with a dribble tonight because both teams, they will look to steal it if you're not. A baseline drive, can't go. Rebounds knocked out of bounds, it looks like. Canton Central Catholic will have it. And you see the this man, Davis's face, couldn't get two hands on it, bounces off of him. And I think... Uh, Tanner Lockoff had a little bit of blood on his shoulder. They just cleaned it off. The trainer, he's going to be okay to re-enter when they want him. Coach Linder wasn't exactly happy with that uh, offensive possession either. Uh, Coach Linder, very intense fella. Chance to talk to him after their uh, sectional win. Now a five-second call as Brady Miller's going to step up and do a good job defensively. force an inbound near us. And Tyner Lockoff just checks back in. Already down to a minute 45 and counting left to go in our carry insurance scoreboard here. Quarter number three. Good entry pass down low. It's Kyle Stoller will pick up points 11 and 12. Yeah, great backside screen to get Stoller free on the lone block. Nobody around it. Buddy, those are sometimes the toughest layups when no one's around you. But Stoller has no problem. Pulaski comes near the center circle, gets rid of the basketball as it'll come over to the wing for Stewart. Stewart with a couple of threes. He can drive the lane and get a big scoop with the right hand in it. Boy, Finley Stewart playing his best game of the year. Two threes in the first half, another runner that time. Average is only one point a game, but the senior coming up big at the right time. He's got eight here tonight with a quarter to go. Lockoff left open, he'll take the long three, it's no good. Rouse with another rebound. Good movement into the front court to Graffenry. Tough shot off balance. Looked at the officials, wanted a call, didn't get one. And here's Brooks Lockoff, got, to, uh, got a screen. Still have to get rid of the basketball. Tyler Davis wide open momentarily, was standing there with both hands up, didn't get it. Stoller will have it stripped on his way up. And here come the Crusaders, it's going to be taken away. Contact midcourt once again, no call. Lockoff to the basket, floaters good. Oh, what a fantastic sequence. Both teams, thieves in the night. Brooks Lockoff that time delivers a little floater. Pushes that Raider lead back to four. As the Crusaders are gonna run off the final 10 seconds. To Graf and Reed. Two defenders, gets the kick out. Stewart for three, spins out at the horn. Oh, what a break for Wayne Trace. 24-20. Raiders will take a four-point lead into our fourth quarter here on WOSN. Our replays tonight provided by Lodix Jeweler, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Werder online at lodix.com. 
24-20, Wayne Trace leads Canton Central Catholic as we move into quarter number four, a lot at stake here. Winner's gonna come back Saturday afternoon and play the winner of our second regional semifinal between Otto Glandorf and Cardinal Stritch for the right to head to the final four in Dayton. Boy, did the intensity pick up that third quarter. It sure did. High stakes basketball here at the Stroh Center. Canton Central Catholic right now working around the perimeter. Good drive inside, nice job out of Dylan Rouse to shield everyone from the basketball. Is able to get in and score. Cut it down to 24-22 on a carry insurance scoreboard. Yeah, the young man that's gonna be pitching at the University of Finley right down the road from here. He delivers a strike. Stoller's got the hot hand, he'll get the kick out. Here's Brooks Lockoff for three, can't get it to go. Rebound is fought for, contact on the floor. And on the rebound, we're gonna have a foul going against Tyler Davis. And Davis tried to come up with the offensive rebound, didn't get it. He lost kind of control of his body, fell into a Central Catholic rebounder. Thus is gonna be whistled for it right there. It's gonna be Rouse that he collides with. Two point takedown right there. Now that's coming up this weekend, big state uh, wrestling tournament as well. So. Miles getting set for that, and again, Lodix Jewelry. Sponsor on our replays tonight here on WOSN. It's Canton Central Catholic with a basketball chance to tie or take the lead. Minute gone by, quarter number four. To Graffenried, into the lane, switches, hands, can't get it to go. Tip up was no good out of Jack Talkington, but the offensive rebound, Talkington gets it back with a double team, and reaching in and just ripping it away will be Brooks Lockoff. And Brooks Lockoff, 58 steals on the year coming in today. He's added to that total in a big way. None bigger than that one right there. Swinging around to the left wing for Tanner Lockoff. Oh, Miller is going to lose the handle out of bounds. It's going to roll from the paint out, and it's going to be last touched by Miller, so it's a turnover. And Miller looked right over at Dwayne Trace bench, and Jim Linder gave him the two hands be physical with it look. And for the first time tonight, partner, it looks like Wayne Trace is going to extend their defense. Hold on to this slim two-point lead. Can't Sunch Catholic will just throw over the top of it as they bring the ball into the front court. Kick behind. Gavin Lehman inside. Shot is up. Out of bounds. Looks like it's going to stay with the Crusaders. Now, Wyden's had two hands on it, just couldn't corral it. Went off his hands out of bounds. The student section for Central Catholic, they were helping the official out say the ball stays here. And Miles talked about that at halftime, what uh, an electric crowd they brought. Miles making friends with them before the game, as he always is. <laughs> Got the faces painted up, buddy. Understand they might have might have paid a little too much for the popcorn. This they said it, they said it was bounds. okay, though. It was good popcorn. Okay. Reasonably priced, though. They're big fans of that. Whatever the icy colored stuff was, they loved that. They had a bunch of it over there. With the turnover, Wayne Trace takes over with the basketball. It's turnover number eight of the night for the Crusaders. Wayne Trace with just six. Central Catholic extending theirs, trying to get some turnovers. Tough to do, and Brooks Lockoff gets free. <laughs> He'll just kick it into another gear, gets all the way to the bucket, lays it up and in. He's got a great hesitation dribble to fool the Crusaders that time. On the other end, the three-pointer is no good out of Alaski, but the putback spins around and falls in, and a quick timeout taken by Canton Central Catholic. So we'll step aside as well, lead back down to a two-point game for the Raiders. And there you see some of the uh, action inside in our Lodix replay. Fighting for that last rebound and basket there out of Canton Central Catholic. Yeah, great work by Gavin Lehman to get the offensive rebound and the old, old fashioned up fake worked for him. Went around the world before it went in, but it still counts. 26 24, you see in our carry insurance scoreboard, five and a half minutes left to go. Semifinal number one in the Northwest region here at BGSU. Wayne Trace faithful sitting across from the standing, making noise. They have filled their side about three quarters of the way full. And Wayne Trace tried to run an overload to the right-hand side, but Central Catholic recognized it, took it away. 
Now they're going to another set. Instead, the ball goes into the left corner, the kick out. Back up top for Hudson Myers. Lock off, now the double. As he lock off, running right the baseline side to side, more effective as he can hide behind the zone early in the first half when he was just dribbling out in front. It's all eyes on him. Good look inside, Stoller will just leave it short. Rebound is knocked out of bounds and it's gonna stay with the Raiders as Kale Winans will re-enter the contest. When Wayne Trace has Stoller and Lockoff on the same side, I would really decompress that zone, overplay that side, make the backside beat you. Entry pass is a good one as the Raiders able to come through and get a bucket. Yeah, third time already in this game that they found Stoller open on an inbound pass. That time he delivers again. Stoller now with 14. Also six rebounds to go with that. Part of the reason why the Raiders have this four-point lead. Right now, ball just moving side to side. Velasquez gets the kick out. Three ball, buried it. That is the third of the night out of Finley Stewart. Finley Stewart. Somebody call his mama. He's a bad dude here tonight. Back down to a one-point lead. Still have 3.45 to go. Tanner Lockoff finds Winans, swinging it around. Older brother has to launch a pass to him to get it top of the key. Head coach Jim Linder wants the ball in Brooks Lockoff's hand and they wanted to set up where they wanted to inbound off a timeout. Timeout on the floor, we'll take another break. This one coming down to the wire here from the Stroh Center. Well, tons of basketball coming up this week here on WOSN. As we get set for uh, more action later this week. Tomorrow night it will be Division II regional semifinal action. Van Wert and Rossford set. And then Friday night we'll have the D4 regional final. Crestview and Marion local. And the regional final in Region 16 as well. Has there ever been a better week of basketball for Van Wert than last week? And, I don't and, think so. And that performance by Aiden Pratt against Defiance, one for the ages. Kyle Stoller with a look inside, trying to reach through to Graffinry to come away with a rebound. He can't get it. And now here come the Crusaders looking for the lead. A great job by DeGraffen Reed inside, giving up a lot of size to Stoller, but used all 6-3 of his height and his length to get that rebound. Velasquez gets the entry pass inside. Good turnaround, high arcing shot. Doesn't go off the window by Rouse. And the Raiders come away with a miss. Right. And now the ball's going to go into the hands of Tanner Lockoff. A tremendous post defense by Taylor, Tyler Davis. Didn't foul, just played upright verticality. Two and a half minutes to go. Good look inside. And able to draw the foul will be Kyle Stoller. Wayne Trace trying to find some answers against that zone defense. Uh, you, you better get your bench press up before this game. You better bring your man card because it's going to be physical inside. They're letting the big boys play. Again, a replace tonight brought to you by Lodge Jewelry in Van Wert. So at the free throw line, here's Kyle Stoller. He'll bury the first one and what is the First made free throw as well as his first attempts tonight out of Wayne Trace. Yeah, 73% on the year for Kyle Stoller. Stoller, like a majority of these players, will be coming back next year. Three point lead for the Raiders, 225 and counting to play. Keep an eye on Finley Stewart if you're Wayne Trace. They got Lockoff on him now. He's over on the left side. Ball finds Stewart. His three is no good. Rouse with the offensive rebound. And I believe we're going to have a foul on the tie-up. This is going to go against Tanner Lockoff. Well, 80% of all rebounds go to the weak side. And my man Rouse knew that how it worked. Tanner, Lockoff for that rebound. Inbound back into the corner, foul on Wayne Trace, just their third. Camp Central Catholic's committed one so far, so if they want to extend this game, they'll have some uh, work to do with some fouls to give. 
as we're down under two minutes to play. Gavin Lehman gets rid of the basketball back over to Finley Stewart. Stewart will find DeGraff and Reed. Just around the perimeter. Canton Central Catholic right now. DeGraff and Reed into the paint, headed strip. Ball's loose on the floor. Stewart able to recover, loose again. This time it is the Raiders that come away with it. And a foul with a minute 27. And again, just the second team foul this half for Canton Central Catholic. Tyler Davis, one of those guys that you look at and you say, oh, he's not going to come up with a tremendous amount of steals. But third on this team with 50 steals for Wayne Trace comes up with a big one right there as Wayne Trace nursing this three-point lead. A couple of substitutions enter the lineup for Canton Central Catholic as Ethan Reagan back in. Now they had Stoller on the baseball pass to the back court. Instead, we'll get a reach at center court. Velasky thought he had a clean steal, but it is going to be a foul. It's on the uh, right side of your screen. And Coach Matt Creamer of Canton Central Catholic trying to employ these guys to come from behind, just knock the ball away. Yeah, looking for the back tap. Good use of the screen off of Stoller to get lock off free. Still a lot of fouls to give if you're Central Catholic. It's good inside look. Stoller off the window. He'll get it up and in. A huge basket for Wayne Trace. The big man, the big man, help. Davis found the other big man, Stoller. Stoller now with 18. Five-point lead for the Raiders with a minute to go. DeGraffenry picks up his dribble, needs help. Slipping down is Velasquez. It's out of bounds. It's a turnover. His head coach Jim Linder was on the sideline, as I believe, as Miles is going to help me out. I think there's a timeout. Yeah, there, the timeout was called by Matt Creamer before the turnover. Boy, what a timely timeout by the veteran coach. Gets it done, saves it for Central Catholic. So timeout. Canton Central Catholic will have the basketball, so my apologies. There was about six bodies in front of us at the scorer's table. Miles had a better vantage point at the Canton Central Catholic bench than I did. So timeout will save the possession. And what is a five-point game here, 32-27. Uh, down by five, you're going to have to get it to at some point in time. Get it quick, get it early, and then full court if you're Central Catholic. If you don't get the first steal, buddy, go ahead and foul, and then foul again because you're still sitting at yeah, only three fouls. You have three, you have three to give, so there's uh, – Saw the Canton Central Catholic student section. They get bust in by the bus loads, quite literally. And the Wayne Trace students trying to make some noise. The, the, the Wayne Trace faithful, they always show up, right? Raider Nation, always there. There's nobody left in downtown Haviland, I guarantee that. 52.1 left to go here on our uh, scoreboard, brought to you by Carey Insurance. Yeah, just well played by Wayne Trace right here. Taking away inside leverage. So if the Central Catholic catches, you're going to have to waste some time dribbling towards the basket. Top of the key to Graffenry, trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. He'll get rid of the basketball. Here's Talkington. Again, around the perimeter. Velasquez to the basket, is able to lay it up and in. Just his first field goal tonight. He's got three points. See how quick Kent Central Catholic wants to go before they commit a foul. Clock down under 30 seconds. This is just going to play keep away. Yeah, wasting too much time. Got to go get the foul. And there is one committed with 17.7 left. I waited way too long, in my opinion. Let about 20 seconds run off. Didn't get the first turnover on the first pass. Go commit the foul right away. Down by three. You need a lot of good things to happen for you if you're Canton Central. Still two more fouls to give yet tonight. As the official realized he was going to be in harm's way and retreated to the other side of the baseline. Wayne Trace has to get the timeout in. Can't do it. they got to use a timeout. So we'll take a quick one as well. Still 17.7 to play. Wayne Trace holding on to a three-point lead. Uh, Wayne Trace has changed the inbounder. It's now going to be Tyler Davis who will inbound the basketball. Following the timeout, foul committed there by Canton Central Catholic. I believe that was on Jack Talkington. And that was a great job by Talkington, right? Very little time, went off the clock, committed the foul. 
The senior knows situational basketball. Foul number five, and now there's number six. So the next one will send Wayne Trace to the line for the one and one, down to 15.9 left to play. Now if you're thinking about who they need to foul, now Winans, the guy that's going to take it out, that's the one you want to foul if you are Catholic Central. Only 57% at the free throw line on the year. Made it to under the basket, inbound comes in, and Stoller's triple teamed and fouled. A couple of seconds have run off the clock, so Kyle Stoller with 18 points, including two from the free throw line, will step up and shoot the one and one. That's Stoller, 73% on the, the free throw line on the year, and if you ever want to be a really good free throw shooting team, have your better free throw shooters at the line, right? You're only your good free throw shooters the ones to touch the ball in these situations. So Canton Central Catholic wants to use a timeout, talk about what happens after the play resumes. So with a timeout, we'll take one as well here. One and one coming up next for Wayne Trace. 12.8 left to play here from Bowling Green. Kyle Stoller at the line. For Wayne Trace, he'll shoot the one and one, leaves it short, but an offensive rebound. And another foul committed here and another opportunity for Wayne Trace. Now how about the work by Davis with the back tap? Goes over Talkington to tap it back to Winans after the missed free throw by Stoller. Such little things win basketball games. Great example right there by Davis. So here's Kale Winans at the line. He'll shoot the one and one. First one rims out. Stoller's going to have the offensive rebound on the tie-up. Arrow's going to favor Wayne Trace. And that has got the coaching staff for Kenton Central Catholic a little upset. All they needed was one rebound. They've now had two opportunities. Now they're going to get Winans off the floor, I think. Nope. They're bringing Lockoff in. Inbound comes in. And the finishing touch with a basket by Brooks Lockoff. Uh, lock off the lock off the seal it for Wayne Trace. One final opportunity is off the rim. It's no good. And the Wayne Trace Raiders are off to the regional final as they pick up the hard fought win tonight. They defeat Kenton Central Catholic 34 to 29. We'll take a break. We'll have more here from the Stroh Center. After we take a look at that final bucket of the night, Brooks Lockoff. Yeah, the younger. Gives it to the older. Great seal by Stoller to get Lockoff free. Lockoff, Lockoff, love in Haviland. 34 29, the final will take a break here on WOSN. A hard fought win for the Wayne Trace Raiders. They're going to move on to the regional finals. They defeated Canton Central Catholic tonight here 34 29 in our opening Division III regional semifinal from the Stroh Center at BGSU. And time now for uh, some awards. We'll start with the Stolly Insurance Hustle Award. Check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page from tonight's game. And tonight's winner. Kyle Stoller of Wayne Trace. All around a solid effort tonight out of Stoller. 18 points, eight rebounds, and he threw in one assist for good measure. Yeah, an assist and had the screen that got lock off free to, to seal the win. And how about Stoller getting the Stolly? Stolly and Stoller, fantastic combination. So again, that is our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. 34-29, so there's the updated bracket here in the uh, BGSU Regional for Division Three, as we take a look at uh, the state to tournament, uh, some of the early games uh, beginning to go final, so we can pencil in Wayne Trace. He'll get the winner of uh, the next game between OG and Stritch here Saturday afternoon for the right to go to Dayton. Now, it should be a fantastic battle, no matter who they take on, because you know that Brooks Lockoff is going to show up in a big way. And Kyle Stoller is always going to play extremely well, dominate the inside. But how about Tyler Davis? Just does enough mm -hmm. for Wayne Trace. And they got some contributions by the younger Lockoff. This is a fantastic basketball team. They don't make a whole lot of mistakes. And like you said, a lot of these guys coming back next year as well. So this will be 
a dangerous team for another year. We want to thank everyone who uh, made our night possible here at the Stroh Center. Got to start with uh, everyone back in the truck. That is Benjamin Reif, our director of replay run tonight by Megan Sherrick, and of course, Jacob, Mia, Kelsey, Steven, all on the cameras. And of course, Kelly gets Nick Fraley back at Master Control in Lima. Man, that looks a lot tougher than what we do. <laughs> sure does. All we got to do is just look and talk, right? They got all those buttons. And I things. could tell you what a single one of those things do, but are, Ben's got all, it down. All those colors. That's I confusing. have no idea. So 34 29 again, the final. Wayne Trace advances into the regional final for my partner, Miles Holiday. I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching High School Basketball here on WOSN.